Welcome back to What Arty Nibs with General Disturbance. This is a bishop, the tier 5 British SPG. It's located on the southwest spawn of province and it's under the command of Hospals. Now you've probably just seen a very interesting battle with Hospals in and uh, well this one's going to be equally fun. Game started. Well one of the things about the bishop is that it's got a very short range on that 4.5 inch howitzer and if Hospitals is going to get good shots on the enemy, he needs to get close to them. And to do that, he's actually going to do something which is very risky, but worth it. He's going down into the valley. Yes, he's actually going to get closer to the enemy to try and shoot at them. And that was a, a quick derp by the KB2, hoping to hit somebody on the enemy team. Now you notice the Valentine tank had to slow down there to knock that tree down. It's basically a walking tank um, designed, um, well it was a British, obviously a British tank, designed by I think a group of engineers under Mr Crowley, I think, uh, I'm sure Ed Webster will correct me if I'm wrong, um, but it's a, it is an interesting tank, the Valentine, and I think the Soviets liked it as who when they were using it. Of course, they liked any tank they could get their hands on after they lost so many during Barbarossa um, when the Germans invaded. So any tanks at all were worthwhile, even if they were poor tanks. T-34 shielded, takes a round for 128 there. Again, he's got very light armor. This, this 4.5 inch howitzer capable of 450 alpha will actually go through 28 millimeters of armor. It's got a burst radius of 2.22 meters. So that uh, T-34 shielded is likely to get very badly damaged. Yeah, nice shot, 129. He may have strong armor on the turret and the front of the body, but he doesn't have it on the rest of the tank and he's therefore fairly vulnerable. He finds a snapshot, but doesn't get anything. T-34's gone behind the rocks, so we can't shoot him at the moment, but the T-150 will spot him and gets his scalp. Oh, now look at this. We've got a pair of togs. It's an all-you-can-eat buffet that's come to us. Yes, Tog 2s. Tog doesn't always win, I'm afraid, no. Togs are basically a joke um, because they are so slow. They're basically a First World War design. Uh, not really suited to the Second World War, and it can easily be damaged by Artie. Nice hit. Oh, he's got a fire! He set him alight. Now that's her all you can eat barbecue. Rounds out. Oh, that one didn't hit, but he's going for it again. He knows where the Tog is. Yes, there he is. Rounds out. Nice hit, 220. He's racking up the damage each shot that he fires. And considering he fires once every 11 seconds, that Tog is going to get a hammering. 179. I always called these things mobile pinatas, but they are basically a buffet for an arty. Now, I don't know where that shell went, but he's now decided to shoot at the other Tog because he can see that guy. Shooting between the buildings. It's that accurate, the bishop. 98 hit points. Even if the Tog moves into that gap, he's still going to have part of his body visible to the bishop. And that means that Hospitals is going to score hits if he can get the shot to land near the right spot. Rounds out. Direct hit. No explosions, and we know that one touched the target. And I don't think that Tog has got much in the way of hit points left now. Next hit. Yes, kills! So he's got his first kill in this game. Now, Hospitals is also famous for actually getting blind kill. He just got a blind kill on that uh, Tog. I wonder if he can get another one. AMX ELC. It should actually be ELC AMX, actually. The other one being the ELC made by Evan. And got a Type 64 there. That guy dies. Got a Skoda T24 next to that building. Just showing us the corner of his vehicle at the moment. Rounds out. Blind kill! 
<laughs> he got another one. <laughs> okay, T thirty four's next. I think that baguette panther's gonna get him. Yes, he did. There's not many enemies in sight. Oh, M10 RBFM, the French version of the Wolverine. It's actually coming down that road, and that's a bit dangerous, just in case he turns off and comes straight down towards Hospitals. But Hospitals slams a shell into his side, tracks him. He's taking some damage. So he's picked up some damage assist there. And I think that M10's about to meet our Leopard. Over here, we've got an 82 and another TOG. That's the TOG that we fired at earlier. He's gone. The 82 takes around. Yep, 115.9. Of course, one more round should be enough to finish him off. Rounds out. Yep, that's the kill. That's three kills now for Hospitals. That M10 did meet his doom at the Leopard. And the, we've got another TOG. Yes, there were three enemy TOGs in this game. I think they were handing them out under tank rewards. And it looks to me like uh, Hospitals is going to have to move north if he wants to shoot at more enemy because, yep, they're just too far away. There is an enemy tank that might spot him though, an AMX 12 ton, up in the north, near the cap area. Oh, but he's just been killed, so we don't need to worry about him. And the bishop on the enemy team's been spotted. Rounds out on him. Nice hit for 162. Lining up the next shot. Looks like he's moving slowly, so he must have been hit on the either the engine or lost his driver. I think he's probably lost his driver. Lining up another one. Rounds out. This could be a kill shot. No, only seven splash. Okay, KV1's pulling back. The bishop is still there. Rounds out. This could be the kill. It is... And it's just the KV-1 left. Will he get some more hit points off him? Nope. <laughs> the Leopard gets the kill and ends the game. But very good performance by Hospitals. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's an ace tanker for Hospitals in the Bishop. He managed to get a fighter badge for getting at least four kills. He got four, exactly. He also picked up a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits in this one. He got 15. And he got the high caliber for dealing the most damage in that game overall. And his win rate for the battle was 9,668, which is very high indeed. Let's have a look at the team score. Well, we can see that he did get the highest damage in the game with 2,555. The next high scorer being the KV-2 with 2,098. And after that, it was the top two on the enemy team, or at least one of the top twos, with 1,785. When it came to kills, he shared the top spot with um, the one of the top twos. They both got four kills apiece. And uh, the next high scorer being the Baguette Panther with three. And when it came to base XP, it was the KV-2 did the best with 940 even though it's a tier 6 game. And Hospitals managed to get 937. 893 went to the baguette. He fired 22 rounds, got 15 direct hits, no penetrations, but uh, uh, 21 splash. Damage of 2,555 hit points, of which 1,996 were at more than 300 meters. He damaged 7 of the enemy, killed 4, did 233 hit points of damage assistance during that game. On a free-to-play account, he earned 28,663 credits, got 50,000 credits for completing the mission and events, so his total was 78,663 credits, and after ammunition resupply, took away 73,163 credits. He received one bond for getting the high caliber, and 937 base XP, and there was no multiplier, so that's all the experience points he took away. But what a great game there by Hospitals. He certainly does know his bishop, and he plays it very well indeed. And even the short-range arty that can be a bit dangerous on a map like that, because you have to get into the opening, or you have to go places where you might be seen. He was still playing it very, very well, and getting lots of hit points off the enemy. So very well done indeed to Hospitals. If you enjoyed that replay, Please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel please and thanks for watching.